Guys, what could someone that works at Disney have to say that would scare you regarding Disney? No idea. Either way, top 10 scary things uh, told by Disney employees. Let's jump into it. Oh. He hurt your arm? All right, we're back at it again with another round of crazy and scary stories from Disney employees. So you know what? Let's not waste any time here. Let's just jump right into it. I'm your host, Landon. Do not sing. And let's start off this list off in at number 10. Bro, what could Pluto have done to you? <laughs> that so back at it with stop. Pluto in 1997, a whole family me. attacked a Pluto, pushed her into the fountain. Okay, hold on a second. I want to pause this story for a second because reading it, it said pushed her into the fountain. And right. I'm a 30 year old man. And you know, what? I just found out that Pluto is a female. For some reason, I, I thought Pluto was a male. Bad assumption, I guess. Right. Or maybe this employee is referring to whoever was inside the Pluto. So maybe Pluto is a male, like well, I suspected, home, guys, we have to and know, know. it was just played by a female. But either way, my mind is kind of blown right now. Well, the employee goes on to say that they didn't actually see the attack, but they just got to deal with the aftermath backstage. Later, Pluto it's told this employee that this? the family was mad that she had to take her break after they had waited to get a picture. I think Pluto either broke her arm or her leg, and the people responsible for this, well, they ended up getting arrested number nine wow. on our list okay guys but for again what could pluto have done to this family that they decided to start breaking arms and legs guys this one's pretty funny but also equally as gross an employee recalls that they used to use a disney code words for things they needed yeah guys pluto is definitely a boy um but yeah, definitely the person inside of the suit was probably a female. To tell other employees, you know, over the radio. Baloo, well, that was a code for blood that needed to be cleaned up. Well, one day yeah. this employee sees a two-year-old boy half naked taking a poop in the playground, in the children's playground. He sees the employee and starts to cry and just runs away. Well, the employee didn't have a code word for a human taking a poop. Right. They only have a code word for like blood. <laughs> right. Blood clean up in aisle two, please. So he made one up on the spot and he said, code poo situation in the kid's play area <laughs> and Piglet is on the loose. Can you Piglet imagine seeing that? I don't know what I would do if I heard Piglet is on the loose. What, what does that mean? <laughs> Mean. All right, so if you guys are liking this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. It really helps us out in the algorithms. It makes us featured on YouTube, and it gets more exposure for you guys. Next up on this list at number eight. Let's go, guys. <laughs> This story made the news in 2013, a drunk- Bro, listen, let me explain something to you, okay? Disney is generally for kids, okay? So if you're gonna be drinking in excess to the point where you start acting like a fool in public around other children, other families' children that are not like you, the person who went to Disney intoxicated to start yelling at your, your partner. <sighs> Bro, <laughs> you know, sometimes people are just like disgusting, guys. 23 year old had been drinking at Epcot's World Showcase. So this is where you can enjoy a drink from different places in the world. Well, it sounds like a good time, but obviously easy to get a little bit, uh, a little bit too tipsy, Sauce. which seems to be what happened to this guy. He had the bright idea. Okay, well, then maybe I don't feel as bad. I, I didn't even realize that 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 type of thing was sold at uh, Disney. I still feel a little ridiculous. You know, listen. Listen, hold on, hold on. I don't like it. Still, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is alcohol being so served at Disney when there are kids around? Um, unless, guys, it's so, it's, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated at this, that this even uh, exists, guys. Uh, to run into a backstage area and steal a cargo cart. In the process, Disney employees tried to stop him, but he was on a tear. He ended up punching not one, but two employees before hitting a third with a three foot long PVC pipe in the head. I mean, ouch. We don't know what happened to the guy, but I imagine right. something along the lines of being banned for the rest of his life yeah. and just and battery charges. Right. And yeah, that might be the way that that story ended. Moving right along on this list to Absolute number seven, we band. have this. The Disney employee Guys, I'm sorry. No, we're going back to this for a second. Listen, there are kids everywhere. Control your, your consumption. 
I'm sorry, guys. All right. I, like, I don't know what I would do if, if I bring my one of my kids or, or my kids in general to Disney World or land. Right. And there's someone extremely intoxicated. How am I supposed to explain the actions of this absolutely horrific person that decided to um, not be able to control their alcohol around children? Because had publicly stated just, that the bad this. days that the employees endure at the happiest place on earth will kind of haunt you. After he shared a story that a 57 year old Miami Beach tourist headbutted him. Okay, so the backstory of this? Well, apparently the employee wouldn't let this dude's wife, who wasn't disabled in any way, use the wheelchair line at the monorail station. So instead of asking her, hey ma'am, can you get out of this wheelchair line? Right. He just decided to go with the headbutt. Number six. Definitely from Miami. Imagine taking your family to the happiest place on earth and leaving the family outing that day with one child missing. It happens oh. more than you think. In fact, on I multiple occasions, think. Disney employees have been caught and arrested yeah. for child trafficking. I mean, this just got real dark. And stealing Are you serious? children to sell them on the black market. I've heard of this black market thing. I don't actually know what it is. How are people buying kids? How are people selling kids on the black market? And Bro, that has to be Miami for real. Well, obviously that's Orlando. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. And they're probably, I'm not even gonna speculate because I don't even wanna give anyone any ideas, but like. 2015, three Disney employees were caught by police as a yeah, part of a the huge thing. The reports worse. never stated whether the children were found, but Disney goes on to great lengths to cover this up because obviously, well, it's bad for business. Definitely. Number five. Disney accidents, of course there are going to be accidents at theme parks, pretty scared to think about. All those kids running around, crazy rides. It's kind of a miracle that these kinds of stories don't happen more often. But a four-year-old boy back in 2000 fell out of the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin ride and he suffered major internal injuries and was hospitalized with serious conditions. Unfortunately, it was too late for this child who lived with the consequences of that fateful ride until he passed away in January of 2009. I wonder if Disney paid the medical bills for the family, compensated uh, them for the rest of their lives. That must have just been so heartbreaking. Pretty depressing story, but let's... I would hope that they did that, okay? Try to move on At here. Let me take you guys back, all the way back to 1978. Right, okay, go. picture this. Winnie the Pooh slapping a little girl. Okay, no, seriously, it actually went to court in 1981, a few years after the event happened. This is like going into a mall and seeing Santa Claus slapping kids. So the girl's parents claimed that Pooh Bear had slapped their daughter, but the Disney employee in the Winnie the Pooh suit claimed that the girl had been tugging on his costume, and when he turned around, he accidentally psh, knocked her over. He actually showed up to court in the costume accidentally on purpose costume and convinced the jury that the arms of the costume would have prevented him from slapping a child because they were too short and didn't move in a way possible to slap a small child oh my god coming in at number three on this list we have this Another Disney employee rumored that circulated over the years is that there is a jail under Disney World. So if you commit a crime in Disney World, you line hop, you butt in line, you're going to the underground Disney World jail. Well, this is where people break uh, rules or caps that. while they wait for the police or security to arrive. Oh, but actually, oh, this, this claim has been debunked. There's okay. a network of tunnels called Utilidors, short for Utility Corridors, that allows cast members and other staff to access different parts of the park and move around without being seen, so as to not break the illusion and take guests out of the immersive Disney experience. But Ooh. this has been widely criticized for being the exact way that Disney employees from number six stole children. They use these tunnels hidden away from the public. That's how they got away with it. Well, I can't confirm or deny through research. Oh, I'm thoroughly researching this, guys. But there's a lot of theories out there that suggest there's a possibility. Hmm? 
In at number two, a 38 year old employee dressed as Pluto was killed when he was run over by a Beauty and the Beast float over the Share Your Dream Come True parade. According to Disney officials, okay. this is the first fatal incident to a cast member. Death at Disney doesn't seem to be as uncommon as one would think. I mean, we just talked about that little boy who right. lost his life. A cast member who dressed up as Pluto named Javier Cruz was about to enter Frontierland in the parade in 2004. Well, the foot of his costume got stuck under the Beauty and the Beast float, but the float couldn't stop fast enough. Cruz was struck and killed before entering the public viewing area. This is such a sad story and one that you think could be easily prevented and that Disney would have safe protocols in place since they run a theme park where a million things could go wrong at any given time. Well, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration gave Walt Disney World a $6,300 fine for this incident. $6, Seems like nothing for a company worth billions, billions? and billions of dollars. A $6,000 fine because they caused death upon somebody? Something just doesn't seem right yeah. right now. And number one on this sounds like um, too big to fail type of thing, guys. List. Thank you guys for making it to number one on this list. We have see you later, alligator. We recovered the remains of the two-year-old from the water. The 16-hour-long desperate search for the two-year-old boy attacked by an alligator at Disney World has come to a heartbreaking close. Well, not quite the case, but in 2016, that was the last thing a father saw when an alligator attacked his two-year-old son, pulling him into the water. After a 16-hour search, the toddler was found in the Seven Seas Lagoon. It is said that Disney has since taken measures to make sure that this never, ever happens again. I hope they took serious actions and actually located the alligator safely and removed this alligator from a theme park you know a theme park full of children and people i mean with all the technology that we have what i'm sorry but the alligator is just being an alligator all right um now that's rough guys because i can imagine bringing my kid again again i can't imagine bringing my kid to a place and then something like this happens guys i cannot eat like like that like oh man um i would obviously blame the establishment more so than that very specific alligator because the alligator is a wild animal all right the alligator is just doing what alligator does but that still would be terrible obviously you know if that's if that's um specifically uh, affecting you it's obviously terrible but oh god guys <laughs> The alligator is, is just a, is a wild animal, guys. Um, I, this is why I don't mess with wild animals. Nope. Why not just have a mechanic or an electronic alligator? There's no point of having these dangerous animals alive just roaming in the park. Unless the alligator got in somehow, but why not just build fences all around it to keep everyone inside safe? Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I was your host, Landon Do Not Sing, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Guys, yeah, no. No, uh, Disney is a little strange. To be honest, I did not know the depths of the strangeness. Um, a lot of these, no, 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 honestly, all of these. I've never seen all, any of these. I've never heard any of these things. Um, I personally am not someone who um, you know, hears things one time and then just makes up my opinion. I'm going to have to obviously research if Disney is going to be actually like, like a good thing to take my children to. Um, or maybe just this, whatever, whatever that one was, like Wild Kingdom. That's going to be a no. All right. Definitely make sure you, uh, you know, at least put a uh, tracking device on your child. Whenever you go into public, uh, mine generally has an Apple Watch or well, no, an Apple Watch. <laughs> OK. Um, and so like these these things are really important, guys. Um, just make sure you're not losing sight of where your children are. That's a fact, guys. That's wild. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, all right, guys. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.